It was discovered in the collection of the, the descendant of the Prince Murat family. We came across this bust, which was in a crate. Probably the owner didn't really know what it was. When I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I'm just in front of something very important. The chiseling and the, the purity of the line, you were like, okay, that's an amazing piece of uh, sculpture by Canova. Antonio Canova is probably the most celebrated neoclassical artist in Europe. He worked late 18th century, early 19th century. Guachin Murat, he had a very amazing life. He was working for Napoleon during all of his uh, campaigns through Europe and he also became king of Naples and Rome and his bravery and loyalty to Napoleon won him uh, the hand of the third sister of Napoleon, Caroline Bonaparte. This royal couple commissioned various artists to furnish and decorate the palace. The bust was commissioned by Caroline Murat in 1813. What's very important and great in the work of Canova is for most of his uh, sculpture and busts he did uh, engravings. So all of those engravings, we date them around 1808 to 1814. And after, the obvious things to do was to go to Canova's uh, hometown in Italy, Bussano. There was a plaster bust of Joachim Murat, and it was amazing because all of the details match our bust. Canova was very much inspired by classical antiquities. Canova had this uh, quality and the talent of bringing a sculpture to life. The way his chin is tilted and the eyes are sculpted. You can feel that Joachim is very proud. The bust is not only a rediscovery, but also it's an important document for Canova, for the Bonaparte and Murat family, and for the history of patronage in this Napoleonic time in Europe.